Bible speaks very highly of Solomon. Solomon was very young when he became king and quickly became known for his great wisdom that he received from God. Although there was some bloodshed in the process of Solomon establishing his reign over Israel, Solomon's reign was one of peace. This gave him the opportunity to focus on building a beautiful temple for the Lord, as well as a great palace for himself. And God blessed Solomon with great wealth and wisdom. But the end of Solomon's life wasn't nearly as great. Solomon married many foreign women who didn't worship the one true God. And because Solomon loved his many wives, he allowed his own heart to be turned from the Lord as well. Solomon built altars and idols for false gods, and the Lord was angry with Solomon. After Solomon's death, the kingdom would be divided, and Solomon's son would not rule over all of Israel. We need to be extremely wise in who we love and seek to please. Even though Solomon had great wisdom, he turned away from the Lord when he married women who worshipped false gods. I think his wisdom got to his head, and he thought he could be faithful despite who he surrounded himself with. But it became too much for him, and he caved. Make sure the people around you direct you to worship God. Of course we should build relationships with other believers too so that they can see the love of Christ in us, but our strongest relationships should be with people who are going to build us up in our faith. Because we don't want to end our lives by turning away from God. We want to end strong, worshiping the Lord only both in this life and in all eternity.